Hello viewers, welcome. Welcome to the Apostolic Half Hour, the production of the Apostolic Church of Kwaibum State Territory Youth Movement. My name is Imo Utosin and I'm glad to have you once again after seven days of break. After seven days of not seeing you, I really missed you. I can at this point tell you Merry Christmas. It's a wonderful season. It's a wonderful time. It's a great season where we remember the birth of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ who came and was born to save mankind from his sin. I know that you have enjoyed this season and I know that you've met the best of the purpose of his birth. I know you've used this opportunity to reconcile with friends and exchange gifts and love and show signs that God indeed really loved us. Thank you for doing that. At this point, we want to welcome you to the praise session where we sing a praise unto our God and celebrate Him for His goodness. It wouldn't be bad if you raise a song along with us and join us in this fellowship together, even as we praise and worship the newborn King. Happy viewing.
welcome back viewers welcome back to this next segment i want to believe that you enjoyed that song ministration and you took time out to worship the lord and praise him it's good to praise the lord that's the best and most exciting moment in his presence is to praise him it's a time where we raise a song unto him i want to tell you that what you cannot achieve through your prayers why don't you raise a song unto god from song to song from song to song definitely the power of God will move towards you in your own favor to, to, to deliver you and to save you and to rearrange your life and give you that expected desire of your heart. At this point, ladies and gentlemen, I want to welcome us to the Word segment. I am also always so excited whenever we receive the Word of God because the power of God is in His Word. Bible says He respects His words even more than His name. Imagine God respecting something more than his great name. The name of the Lord alone is so great. Bible says the name of the Lord is a great strong tower where the righteous run in and is safe. And yet he says he respects his words more than that his name. I want to allow you to savor the atmosphere of the word of God. I want to allow you to be soaked by the power in the word of God. I want to allow you to experience the move of the word of God as I invite the man of God on stage in the atmosphere that is already charged by the spirit I have believe I believe seriously that by this word that is going to be ministered through the mouth of the servant of God every question in your heart will be answered and every difficulty will be taken care of and every doubt that was there in your heart will be erased happy viewing for this wonderful moment that you have given unto us. It is a time for you to speak to your children. Let the Lord speak to the understanding of your children in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And somebody shout the big hallelujah. Brethren, I am going to read from Gospel according to St. Matthew chapter 2. Read it from verse 1. I want to talk my message. The day of Christ and the rising star. The Bible says, Now when Jesus was born in the name of Julia, in the days of the Lord, the King, you will bring wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, When is it that he born, King of the Jews? We have seen his star in the east. We have seen his what? Star in the east. And have come to worship him. Just go of it. Star to rise from here, from the east. Right. When they were the king had came, these things, he was strong, and all the Jerusalem with him. And when he had gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together, he demanded of them when Christ should be born. And they said unto him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for those it is written by the prophet. And thou wilt them in the land of Judah, and not least among the princes of Judah. For out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule by that shall rule my people as well. The Lord, when they are privily, called the wise men, inquire of them diligently what time they start appearing. What time they start also appear? Now take note of that. The time they start appear. One. But the first thing that the time or the place that they start rises and the time that they start also appears. And he sent them to the them and said, Go and say the lady for the young child. And when you are coming, bring me words again, that I may come and worship him also. When they had heard the king, they departed and lo, they sat, which they saw in the east, went before them till they came and stood over where the young child was. When they saw the sat, they rejoiced exceedingly great. Praise the Lord. The praise the Lord. Amen. We talk about the birth of Christ. Something so significant happened when Christ was born. The story about the birth of Christ, the issue about the birth of Christ, as is written in the book of Matthew, chapter 2, is different from what is written in Luke, chapter 2. When Christ was born, immediately Christ was born, the angels appeared to the shepherd. That is in Luke chapter 2. 
Now, the angel that appears to the shepherd, different from Kesar that rises far above the east. And the east I talk about is part of India, behind Babylonia. So we talk about the rising star, the magi, we talk about the magi, the magi saw the star, we talk about the magi, the magi has to be the astrologers, those that study the star, those that study the space. And the people were far away. And when they came to be with Jesus, they spent more than two years before they could look at when Jesus was born. They spent more than two years. And the time they arrived at the realm of Judea, Hello? At the time of their arrival, Jesus was already a child. No more a baby. When we get to the first chapter 2, you see, when the shepherd went to meet with Christ, because the angels appeared to the shepherd. Let me tell you something. God will reveal himself to you based on your knowledge. If the angels appear to the astrologers, they will be afraid because they are not acquainted with the appearance of the angels. They are so much acquainted with the star because that is what they study, that's what they know, and they are the Gentiles. But we talk about the Jews who are the shepherds, they were acquainted with the appearance of the angels. That was why the angels appeared to the shepherd and they went and worship Christ that was born in the region. But when the when, when, when the wise men, the astrologers, went to be with Jesus, it was no more at the manger, but it was at the house. And by that time, when the shepherd went and lived with Jesus, he was a baby. But when the when, when the, the wise men, which are the followers, went to be with Jesus, he was already a little child. And I want to talk about the astrologers. These are the people that study what is going on in the space, what is happening in the air. And we go into the galaxy, we study the galaxy, we discover that the scientists say that the moon is sun. Among the stars. But this particular that they were, the Bible in Genesis chapter 1, verse 16, talk about the creation of the sun, the creation of the moon, and the creation of what? The stars. They told me that every star that we see were already been created. And no star appeared in our state because they were what? Created. But this particular star was not created. But he is the one that created everything. That is why this star had to appear. The Bible says the star appeared, not the star arise. Am I talking to somebody? The star that does what? Appears. The star doesn't arise. Rather, the star appears. So the astrologers were so much acquainted with the admin stars. But suddenly, on the seventh day, they discovered another star. That they have never seen in their life, they discover another star that they have never witnessed in their astrology. They use telescope to study the space when they discover this star, and they start to wonder how comes about this star. Because every star that is in the Bible mentions that each of the stars has a name, and they look all the stars. But when they came and look at another star, they were thinking what happened to this star. How comes about this star? And what significant thing that is that was the characteristic of this star was that this star immediately it appears. The star has to walk. The star has to move. Although the stars are in motion, but there is no star that has the motion that this particular appearance star has. Now they follow the star. When they follow the star, the star tells them this star gives direction. What was the direction? This star is what? Yes. Then the other side are moving in motion. Or sometimes they are starting. They are still giving out their life. But the light of this star is so brighter than any other other stars that it caught the attention of the astrologers to look at this star and say, what kind of a star is this? And this star is moving every day by day while the other stars are standing. They needed to know where this star is moving to, the location that the star is moving into. Until they follow the star to open the hand. Hallelujah. Amen. And then they find out the world. Well, because they discover that for this star to rise, there must be a king that is born. Because in their story, they started to know that everything that appeared in the, in the, in the space, the 
the body is something, the body is physical phenomenon. On the appearance of anything that happened in the space. And then when they met the king, the king gave them a direction. And they went and met Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. And then the other thing is this. There is a type of creation. There is a type of movement. God created you to exist in this earth. But I don't have time as well for you to move on. To be fit to move. A moving star, not a standing star. God has created us to be moving and move to our own destination. God has created us to move, to achieve great things in our life. God has created us to move to a particular direction, not to move to anywhere. God created you not to move to anywhere, but for you to move to somewhere. I don't know why I'm talking to somebody here. I said, God created man to move to somewhere, but not to move to anywhere. The star moved to somewhere, and the place the star went to was in Bethlehem, Julia. Not to anywhere, but to somewhere. Why every other star, why every other object, like the meteorite, like the comet, or the other planetary body, can move to anywhere, but this particular star, I refuse to receive any gift or present parted with death or calamity from the wicked or my enemy in this Christmas season in Jesus name. May this season bring me and members of my family enduring peace, joy, prosperity and divine guidance in Jesus name. I set on fire any arrow of death, bloodshed or calamity commissioned against me by the forces of darkness in this festive season. In Jesus' name, Amen. Wow, wow, wow. Welcome back, people of God. Welcome back from that powerful session with the man of God. I believe that you have been touched and impacted. I believe there is a transformation going on in your life right away. You can never remain the same again after hearing the word of God. At this point, we can never praise God enough. So I want to take us back to another session of praise. To praise this great God, this King of Heaven, this newborn King, this Messiah of ours. This God, the mediator of the new covenant, the Bible says he's the one that sits there to speak on our behalf. The God that took on the nature of man and sits in the council of divinity. He is the one that speaks on our behalf and we can always praise him and praise him and praise him and praise him. Non-stop praising. Welcome as we go into a press session once again. And when we return, we take the next thing. Happy viewing.
Wow, I still feel so happy. I still feel like dancing. I still feel like singing. Why don't you allow the bubble of the joy of God to be in your heart always? David says, I will praise the Lord at all time. It's so good to praise the Lord. I tell you, whenever you feel like your situation is climbing down on you, just raise a song unto God and move into the atmosphere of praise and your sorrows will be over. It's so great, it's so great to be with you. I want to thank you so much for staying tuned with us. The Apostolic Half Hour production of the Apostolic Church, um, Aquaibu State Youth Movement, Aquaibu State Territory Youth Movement. It's been wonderful. Thank you for sparing us your time. Thank you for being with us. I believe that this broadcast has been of immense help and immense importance and immense benefit to you. Why don't you keep a date with us same time next week, same station. And call your friends when we come you all again, 7 to 80 every Sunday. Why don't you call your friends and call your neighbors? Let them come and share in this great fellowship together. Let, let us continue together in this wonderful, wonderful um, transmission, in, in this wonderful broadcast where we take the message of God to the nations. Uh, I want to tell you that if you have any message to share with us, you have testimonies, please contact us through the number on your screen or you can come to our office at 61 Obimor Street, the Apostolic Church Territorial Headquarters at Obimor Street, Uyo. And if you want to be a partner in this telecast, in this broadcast, feel free to move into our office and, and share with us. It is good to invest in the kingdom service. It is good to invest in the spreading of the gospel of Jesus Christ. The Bible says, go preach the gospel to all nations. And after that, I will come again. We are the ones delaying the coming back of Jesus Christ. Let us move this together. So feel free to come into us, come with us, and come meet us. Let us move this ministry together. And don't you forget this eternal truth that no matter what, Jesus is coming again. At this point, I want to say, till we meet again next week, bye-bye, God bless you.